I wouldn't go for a single day from nine to five for anybody, for anything. Imagine your mind is a cup of coffee. The present is projected on the surface. All the security you've built for yourself in the form of knowledge, relationships, education, ideals, goals, beliefs, amusements and mysteries, all the authorities you've accepted, all your responsibilities, all the good and the bad, float underneath. And to step out of that narrow circle seems almost impossible. Because we are so conditioned, so programmed by the computers that we cannot learn something new. The computer can, but we can't. Our brain is sluggish, slow, dull. Because we have conformed, we have obeyed, we have followed. We are talking of a revolution, not physical, but psychological revolution in which there is no at the depth conformity. Freedom, the Krishna where he talks about, it's not being caught in patterns, just accepting traditional ways of looking at things. Uh, it doesn't mean that you criticize everybody else's values or that you have no values at all. Um, you have values, but, you're, but even the values that you have, you're not stuck on them because you have to meet at each situation as it arises. You can't fall back on some um, code of conduct. There's no code of conduct. Psychologically, why should I accept what somebody else says? So, can I? Without distortion, without prejudice, without choice, be aware of the content of, of this book, which is me. To read it very carefully, never distorting it, requires a great deal of attention, great deal of energy, intensity, 
immediacy. And we are not willing to do all that because it's, we think that's too tiresome. Tell me quickly what to do and I will do it. It's not even freedom from things. It's a, it's a state of mind where you um, don't feel that your life is being directed by some forces beyond you or um, some demands of society that don't make sense. Where does the truth lie in all of this, in the way that people are leading their lives? You know, is truth simply relative, depending on where you happen to be born, an accident of birth, where you happen to have been brought up, the way that you've been conditioned by your parents and your education? Or is there something deeper and more universal. You have to have a critical self-awareness and you have to be critical of what you see out there. Talk. Fuel. Struggle. Walk. Create. And refuse to enter into this rat race. And the others say, yes, after you have constructed that what you think is the right society, then we'll all join you. But we don't do it together. That's the whole problem. Right? We've got thousands and thousands of years of um, conditioning, for want of a better word. Um, people before us have accepted certain things, they've accepted beliefs, they've accepted ways of looking at life, ways of looking at men, women, children, um, and these things have become, without our even knowing it, become the pattern of everyone's lives. But this is, society has become this way without, almost mindlessly, there's no, no one stops to look at what is really going on. Um, it seems. <laughs> but we are all so timid. We're all so nervous, frightened, anxious. We want comp the security which we think we have, which we haven't got. So will you? Go into this and find out if you can free yourself from that rat race. 